Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, purple shaded uh, trapezoid A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, are represented by 2x uh, minus 3, y plus uh, 1, 3x uh, minus 3, and uh, 10 uh, units uh, respectively. And moreover, the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid has been given to us as uh, 50 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded uh, trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step before we could calculate the area of this uh, purple trapezoid. We must find the value of uh, x and the y value as well. And here's our very first. We know the perimeter of this uh, trapezoid has been given to us uh, as 50. And we know the perimeter of this trapezoid is going to be the sum of all uh, these uh, side uh, lengths. So I'm going to add uh, all these uh, side lengths. I'm going to write down uh, 2x uh, minus uh, 3 plus I'm going to write down 3x uh, minus uh, 3 plus uh, y plus 1 e plus rather 10 equals to our perimeter is 50. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side that is going to give us uh, 5x plus y plus 5 equals to 50. And now I'm going to move this uh, 5x uh, and this uh, 5 on the other side. So therefore we could write uh, y equals to 50 minus uh, 5x uh, minus uh, 5. Or simply the right hand side is going to become 45 minus uh, 5x. I'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. I have dropped this perpendicular BE on this uh, side uh, CD. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. And now let's focus once again on this uh, right triangle uh, BEC. We know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 3x minus 3. And this uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 2x minus 3. So this uh, side uh, EC is going to be this length uh, minus uh, this. If we subtract, uh, we are going to get simply X. So therefore, our this segment EC turns out to be X. And we know that this uh, side length uh, BE is equal to this side length uh, AD. If this side length is Y plus 1, then this side length is going to be Y plus 1 as well. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here is our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. In our case our hypotenuse is 10 and our other two legs are y plus 1 and x. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x square plus uh, y plus uh, 1 whole uh, square equals to 10 uh, square. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial. So therefore we can write uh, x square plus uh, y square plus uh, 2y plus 1 equals to 100. And now we are going to subtract 100 from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x square plus uh, y square plus uh, 2 times y minus uh, 99 equals to 0. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. We know our y value is uh, 45 minus uh, 5x. And we are going to substitute uh, that y value over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted these uh, y values uh, over here. And now let's recall another famous identity. A minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. 
we are going to apply it on this uh, binomial. So therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, 20, 25 minus uh, 450 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 25 x square and then uh, minus plus rather the, when we distribute this one that is going to give us 90 minus uh, 10 x uh, minus 99 is going to be equal to 0 and now let's combine the like terms we are going to get uh, and I am going to divide uh, by 2 across the board to make our job uh, simple. So once we divide by 2 that is going to give us uh, 13 x square minus uh, 230 times x uh, plus uh, 1008 uh, equals to 0. So thus we are ended up with this uh, quadratic equation 13x square minus 230x plus 1008 equal to 0 and we are going to solve this quadratic equation by grouping uh, and factoring and you may use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation as well. And now let's focus on these uh, two constants on both end 13 and 1008. Let me just write down 13 times uh, 1008 uh, over here and now this uh, 1008 could be written as uh, 8 uh, times uh, 126 as you can see in this uh, next step and now if we multiply 13 times 8 that is going to give us uh, 104 as you can see in this uh, next step and now if we add these uh, two factors uh, that is going to give us uh, 230 and this is the uh, same as this uh, middle coefficient. So therefore we can tweak this our middle term negative 230x uh, as negative 104x minus 126 times x. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, middle term uh, by this uh, whole thing and now we can see 13 uh, x is in common between first two term and over here in this one uh, we got uh, negative 126 uh, is in common so therefore we can write uh, 13 times uh, x uh, outside and we're gonna get uh, x minus 8 and here I'm going to factor out negative 126 uh, and we got x minus uh, 8 uh, equal to 0 and here we can see these two factors are in common so therefore we can write uh, x minus uh, 8 times uh, 13 uh, x minus uh, 126 uh, equal to 0 and now we are going to separate these uh, factors so therefore we can write uh, x minus uh, 8 equal to 0 and the second factor 13 x uh, minus uh, 126 uh, equal to 0. So therefore for this equation we got x equals to positive 8 value and for this uh, second equation our x value turns out to be 126 divided by 13. And now let's focus on this uh, equation 1. And here I have copied down this uh, equation 1 on both uh, sides. And now since we got our x value as equal to 8, so I'm going to substitute x value 8 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, x value by 8 over here. And if we simplify everything, our y value turns out to be 5. So therefore for x equals to 8 value, our y value turns out to be equal to 5. And now let's focus on this uh, x equal to 126 divided by 13 value. I'm going to substitute uh, over here. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, x uh, by 126 divided by 13 over here. And if we simplify everything, our y value turns out to be negative 45 divided by 13. So therefore for x equal to 126 divided by 13 value, our y value turns out to be negative 45 divided by 13 
and now we can see that this uh, y equals to negative 45 divided by 13 uh, value is uh, not possible so therefore we are going to reject uh, this scenario and we are going to accept uh, this x equal to 8 value and y equals to 5 value only and in this uh, next step i am going to substitute this uh, x equal to 8 value over here so this is going to become uh, 2 times 8 is 16 minus 3 is going to give us uh, 13 units and if we substitute x value for 8 over here that is going to give us 24 minus 3 is going to become 21 uh, units and finally we are going to substitute this uh, y equals to 5 value over here so if I substitute y by 5, so 5 plus 1 is going to give us uh, 6. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, purple trapezoid. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2. And here in our case, our height uh, h uh, is 6. Our base uh, a is 21. Our base uh, b is uh, 13. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 6 uh, divided by 2 times uh, 21 uh, plus uh, 13. And in this uh, next step, uh, 6 divided by 2 is going to give us 3. And 21 uh, plus 13 is going to give us 34. And if we multiply this thing, that is going to give us uh, 102 square units. So thus the area of this uh, purple shaded trapezoid turns out to be 102 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.